channel. Today I am showing my long awaited master bedroom tour after the makeover. So a couple months ago I shared a room tour of this space before we even touched it, before we did anything to it. And today I'm showing you the finished product. So I'm super excited to take you along this room, show you a tour of it, tell you the details of what we did, paint we used, different things like that, and just the products that we were using in this space. So if you are new to my channel, we have lived in our house for six and a half years now and we have never done anything to our bedroom until this past summer so we have waited a very long time to kind of refinish this space and just, just make it feel more like us and more our style beforehand it was just very plain in here very like clean slate there wasn't anything like fancy or anything in here there still isn't anything fancy but we've just zhuzhed it up a little bit and made it feel a little more comfortable to us and like I said just to fit our style a little bit better in this room we did incorporate some new closet doors we also did an accent wall behind our bed we got a new bed frame because fun fact we have never had a an actual bed frame before so we have a bed frame now our bed just sat on um, just like a platform style bed prior to our new bed frame. So we have that. I've also redone a dresser in this space. We have a lot of clearance items, some thrift finds, a little bit of everything in here, but I think it came together super nicely and I'm very excited to show you the final result. Before we get started, I do want to mention anything that I can link down below. I will have linked down in the description box. Some of the things in this room came from places like Hobby Lobby, also Amazon. Um, there's some home goods, TJ Maxx. So those things I won't necessarily be able to link, but they're kind of basic items that you'll be able to get your hands on pretty regularly if you hit up those places pretty frequently. But nonetheless, this is a very clean, just kind of earthy palette that we went for. Those are the things that we are drawn to the most. We love the blues and greens, taupe colors, clay colors wooden accents things like that and we also like black pieces as well so lots of that here in this space but without further ado let's get to checking out what this bedroom looks like I will compare pictures of before and after that way you guys get a complete picture of the makeover when you first walk into our room, this is the very first wall that you see. So as you can tell, this is the wall with our bed on it. We did quite the transformation, but it was extremely simple. So as you can see here, we did a simple board and batten wall, but we decided to keep it a little larger instead of doing the smaller board and batten look. So we just divided this wall up into three sections and painted it a bright white. Typically, I am not drawn to bright white walls, but in this space, it worked really well and we tied it all together with some warmer colors to make it not feel so stark and as you can see here in the center of the wall we decided to go ahead and add a piece of landscape art I actually found this at Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off it was around $30 and it tied in those really rich colors that I was going for and it just made the room a little bit warmer as far as the sides of the bed goes, we decided to go ahead and add in our nightstands. So these are newer nightstands to us. They are from a company called Homery. I did a video on them a while back, but they are a really pretty rich wood and they have black handles and black legs and they're just super nice. So they have drawers on them. They have a little cubby for books and things like that. And then on top of the nightstand, we added some new lamps. So these are from Hobby Lobby as well. I will try to link them down below if I can find them but they are a darker wood lamp and then a lighter linen color of shade they are really large but we love them they give off a ton of light as you can tell and then as far as the nightstand one of the nightstands I just kept it pretty simple and then the other one I added a tiny faux plant just for a touch of greenery As far as the bed goes, we do have a new black wrought iron style bed. It does have spindles on it. I know you can't tell that right now because of all of the bedding, but we do love this bed. It is really good quality and it was only $90 for a queen size bed. I don't think that is bad at all. We found it on Amazon and it was quite the steal. So as far as the bedding goes, I wanted something that was going to be very earthy with a lot of texture, a lot of those earth tone colors that we love and still make it feel just very light and airy as well so we decided to go with a comforter that is also from Amazon it is a charcoal navy color it is super pretty this came in tons of different colors and then instead of layering blankets at the foot of the bed I decided to layer them towards the top of the bed so I have a taupe colored quilt that is from Target and then on top of it I have a throw blanket it's kind of a light sage and cream stripe it is super pretty that came from home goods 
And as far as the throw pillows go, all of these I found on Clarence, oddly enough. So this lighter one here with the stitching is from Home Goods. It was on Clarence for $20. I have two of those. And then the pillow there in the middle with the darker stitching, that was only $12 at TJ Maxx. I love those earthy textures. It's kind of like that canvas material. It's so pretty. And then the pillow here on the front was also a Clarence find from TJ Maxx, and it was also $12. As far as the rest of the pillows go, the white pillows that you see in the back there, those are pillows that we sleep with all the time. Obviously, we can use all of these pillows to sleep with, but those are the ones that we tend to sleep with on a regular basis. Everything else is more decorative, but I just love the layered look of the bed and just the different textures and colors that are incorporated. <music> Next up, we incorporated a new fan into our space. So this was just an industrial style fan that came from a company called Parrot Uncle. It's super pretty as well. And then at the foot of the bed, we also ended up adding in a bench. So this bench was actually here before we did this makeover, but it really ties together with the nightstands beautifully. So it's the same wooden color. It actually came from the same company, Homery, and it has the black legs and I love it. So it has the raw wood, so pretty and classy. And then and on top of it, I just have some book boxes from Hobby Lobby and a faux plant from Target. I've had all of that for quite some time now. And then I have a thrifted knit blanket that I have over the top of it as well. One of the biggest things that we did in this room was change out our closet doors. So prior to this transformation, we had mirror closet doors and they had like a brass finish along the edge. It was not terrible, but it just wasn't our style. It was it made this room definitely feel a little more dated than what we were hoping for. So we decided to go ahead and change out the closet doors. We just went with a simple white finish and I think that it just made the room feel so much bigger, oddly enough. So you would think that mirror would make it feel a little bigger but no the white closet doors really just brightened up this space and made it feel so much more open so we are definitely very happy that we did that as you can tell we don't have any hardware on them and honestly it's been super easy to open and close and I kind of like the sleek look without the hardware so for now I'm planning to keep it like that but I'm just really loving how this space turned out One of my favorite finds for this bedroom was this rug. So I found this on Amazon. It is a Loloi brand rug and I love that brand. If you don't know what that brand is, definitely look it up. They have stunning, stunning rugs. They have so many pretty colors and patterns and they can be pretty pricey depending on the size and the style of the rug. But I ended up finding this one for a little over $100 on Amazon. It is a five by seven and I am absolutely obsessed with the colors in here. There's some plums, rust, some reds, taupes, blues, greens. It truly ties it all in together and I think it is definitely a statement in this room. As you can see, all of these colors are kind of mixed in super well from the bedding to the pictures and the rug. A little bit of everything just kind of tied in together, but I love it. It is definitely the staple point in this room and just is so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Another area that we transformed very simply and very cost effective was our side of the room that has our dresser on it. So oddly enough, this dresser was mine when I was growing up. It has been painted so many different colors throughout the years, but we decided to go with a matte black finish. We used the Waverly chalk paint from Walmart, oddly enough. That stuff goes very far. So if you like the black furniture, I would definitely check that paint out. And then I just added some simple matte black hardware from Amazon. It was very inexpensive as well and then on top of the dresser I have a mirror that is originally from Target 
and um, it's just like a wood finish from Target. It's originally around $80, but I found it at our local Ollie's for $40. So I got it for half the price and I think it is super pretty. I definitely love the contrast on top of the black dresser. I think it is stunning. I just wanted to keep this area very minimal and sleek, but also just very soft as well. Next to the dresser, I have our faux olive tree in a basket on the wall. The basket has been there for quite some time, and then I have our olive tree placed inside of a basket I purchased from Target a couple of years ago, and I really love the soft colors of the olive tree here in the corner. The top of the dresser I just kept very minimal like I mentioned so I just have some brass candlesticks. I have a candle and a little notebook that was, were both gifted to me from one of my best friends. And then on the other side I have a black pitcher that is from Hobby Lobby Clarence section the beginning of the year with some greenery inside also from Hobby Lobby and a small ceramic candle holder. Overall, I'm very satisfied with how this transformation turned out. Again, these were all things that we've wanted to do for quite some time, and the before and afters are crazy. So it's so insane to see what it looked like prior to changing it up, and even though it was just very simple, very just easy transformation with paint and a little bit of board and batten and whatnot it just totally made this room feel so much different so just take your time gradually purchase things if you're wanting to redo a space you don't have to do it all at once like I said at the beginning we've lived in our house for six and a half years and we just now got to this project so it definitely can take some time and that is totally okay but the end result is always worth it
guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite item that we've incorporated into our space. What area was your favorite? Did you like the accent wall with the bed? Did you like the dresser that I have here behind me, the closet door transformation? Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite. I really just love how this space came together. It's so calming. This room is not very big at all, um, but it just fits us really well. And just the, how we've kind of like placed things around, the colors we've used and whatnot, I think it's really just helped to make it feel a little bit bigger and brighter and just really comfortable for us to spend our evenings in. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy all things simple living, affordable decorating, and thrifting. Next up on my channel, I will be sharing tons of fall content. I've already shared several shop with me's and whatnot, and I'm going to be hitting all of my fall decorating next week. So the very beginning, the very first week of September is when I'm going to be decorating. We're going to be doing my living room, dining room, and kitchen. A little later on in the season, I will be sharing like tablescape ideas. I'll also do a front porch fall decorating video. We'll probably do some fall thrift just a little bit of everything but I'm super excited for this upcoming season the cooler weather fall is one of my favorite times of year and I'm just really excited to incorporate more fall content on my channel but before I did that I wanted to show you guys my bedroom because it's been something I've been talking about all summer long and I'm just not getting to it so I'm also going to be doing another video a little later in September where we're going to be kind of changing out some colors in here with bedding and simple things like that for fall so be on the lookout for that video as well thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.